welcome to another great episode of the Ariel Show coming at you. I hope your week was amazing. Today we're going to be talking about something that all of us watching have thought about, all of us can relate to, and that is our life purpose. There's definitely that desire in all of us to not waste our lives and to, you know, leave our mark on the earth and feeling like, you know, we actually had some point, some purpose in being here. But a lot of times it's so easy to overanalyze that, to get stuck in our own heads and be like, what is my purpose? And um, I, I just know that that's something that I've struggled with. Like even me so clearly my whole life, I've known exactly what I wanted to be when I grew up, but that didn't necessarily translate into me feeling super confident that this was my unique life purpose and this is what I what I was supposed to be doing. And I'm just gonna take out all that mystery for you guys right now. It is not that hard and I hope that this gives you guys some freedom because it's, it's hard to be under that weight feeling like this is what I wanna do but what I'm supposed to be doing this, but it's not that hard at all. And here we go, I'm just gonna break it down for you. Your life purpose is doing what lights you up. That's it. What you are supposed to be doing in life is, is what you want to be doing. Now. I'm just gonna pause here. There are gonna be some of you that are gonna be like smart asses. I'm like, oh, I just wanna eat Twinkies all day. Is that my life purpose? No. For the rest of you that are like sane, responsible people here, stop waiting for the angel to come visit you at the foot of your bed and be like, here it is, this is what you're supposed to do. It's not like that. You have a map inside of you and that map is your desires. That's your compass. Your desires are leading you and telling you, this is for you, this isn't for you, based on what you want to do. So let me give you my example here. So I, from the age of three on, have always been like, I'm gonna be a rock star. Like, that's my stock answer for years. It's always what I've wanted to do, always what I've wanted to be. But then let's say I'm like 18 and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I'm supposed to be a nurse? You know, I wanna help people. What if I'm supposed to like go save people and be a nurse and help them, okay? It would be so stupid for me to like stifle all of my creative um, tendencies inside myself and go like study nursing and go do that because I want to do this. This is what lights me up. This is what makes me happy. This is where I get lost in my flow zone where I'm just creating and I'm making art and just being myself and able to help people with that. It would be kind of a tragedy to let all of that, those creative impulses go to waste so that way I can be a nurse. And think of the reverse here. Let's say that there's somebody who really would enjoy being a nurse and they're like, oh, I should probably write songs for a living. Crap, let's go do that. And then this other chick has to go on tour and she hates her life and she's miserable and she's not even maybe that natural at it because that's not something that's inside of her. So you're gonna wanna hear, take advantage of what you want. Take advantage of your desires and what comes naturally to you. Not that difficult. And I hope that just hearing that, you can have a little light bulb and be like, oh, yeah, I don't have to do something I hate. My calling in life is not to do the opposite of what I want. Rather, what I want to be doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. But I know here, a lot of you will be like, well, what I want to be doing is, you know, maybe painting, but I have to go, you know, work over here. And that's okay, you guys. It's okay if your quote unquote life purpose and your day job don't necessarily match up. Because a lot of times, that's not practical. For a lot of us, it would be kind of an amazing dream world if all of us could just, you know, float around and somehow magically make money, doing our thing, being ourselves, living out our purpose. But let me say that your purpose is about something greater than just uh, what you naturally like to do. So for me, like I said, I love being in that creative place, whether it's making songs or clothes or these podcasts, whatever it is. Even if I had to work a normal day job, like I've had to do that. That's pretty normal that a lot of musicians do that. And there's still a way that you can still show up and shine in the fullness of yourself where it doesn't feel like you're like completely unrelated to your life purpose because your purpose is about more than painting. My purpose is about more than singing. So what do you do if you know you're hearing all this stuff about do what lights you up and you're like I don't really know what lights me up like I don't really know what makes me happy. That's a really hard place to be and if you're in high school junior high watching this I feel like that's an especially common mindset to have because at that time you just kind of got to keep your head down just got to keep moving forward get through school. I'm so sorry school sucks it really does. You can do it, guys. Uh, but I promise that life does get better after that. And I want you to, to kind of start keeping a, maybe just a mental list or a physical list of what makes you happy. And maybe, maybe not even what makes you happy, maybe what doesn't make you miserable. Like maybe that's just where you're at right now. Maybe there's really not much in your life you're excited about. Just kind of start keeping track of like, oh, I just had a moment where I wasn't miserable or I just did this for 20 minutes and I didn't think about how much I hate my life. Kind of keep track of that stuff because that's valuable. 
And what's so cool about that is that then you can start doing more of those things. Then you can start surrounding yourself with people who make you feel like yourself and make you feel like you're fully, you know, showing up and shining in the world. And so it's really important to be listening to your desires, to be on the lookout, on the hunt for what lights you up. So this week, I just encourage you to do that. Start writing down moments that you enjoy, whether that's, you know, browsing your Instagram feed or making dinner. Like it can just be kind of off the wall stuff. Like maybe you can't turn it into a career, but you can create a life that you enjoy living and that's going to help you more fully realize your life purpose because we as human beings want you to be happy that makes our lives on planet earth easier we can all be more creative we can all be more ourselves when we're not miserable you know what I'm saying so one of the things that I learned recently that lights me up is this doing this right here communicating with you guys um, every week through the Ariel show I didn't even know that this was like a thing for me that I really like to do um, but it is, and I love it. And so for the past year and a half, because of you guys, I've been able to. And I've actually decided I love it so much that I'm going to be doing it in a whole new way this year on Warp Tour. And I am so excited about this. I'm going to be teaching a class every day on Vans Warp Tour. My class is called How to Turn Your Pain into Art. And you guys, you have to come to this. This is amazing. This is for those of you who deal with depression, uh, fear of what other people think, anxiety, maybe you have panic attacks. If you just feel that self-hatred, that self-loathing, you guys, this is for you. I've been spending so much of my time in creative energy and I am, I am so excited about what I have to offer through this class on Warp Tour. So head to thinktei.com and I'm going to be showing you how you can move forward past your past into living your dreams. See, I've learned how to move past my own issues and turn them into something that's working for me, into a way where I can still stay relatable and authentic with people who are still de dealing with those issues. And that has been so wonderful for me. I'm not letting my pain work against me, you guys. I'm letting my unique story work for me. And so I know how to do this because I've been living this for years. This is my reality, how I turn my pain into art on a daily basis and I let it fuel me, but I don't stay stuck in that miserable place. So as I'm talking to you, if you're like, oh my God, she's talking to me like, if you hear what I'm saying here, you need this. Okay, you've got to come. Tickets are 25 bucks, but this is not about the money, but sell your grandma, sell your house, do whatever it takes to be there because you guys, I have something so precious that I want to give you this summer on Warp Turn. I can't do it if you're not there. So please come, please be a part of that. Thank you so much for watching this week. Like I said, this is my privilege, my honor, it's my joy to get to do this with you every week. Special thank you to my patrons at patreon.com. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. I have a really cool episode for you next week. So stay tuned for that. Bye.